And we are back at Sakurema for the Oi Rio Women's Pro presented by Corona. We're in heat number five, round number one. Sally Fitzgibbons, Tatiana Weston Webb, and Pauline Ado making up this heat. Kaipu Girl along with 89 world champ Martin Potter for the call. Win her heat. During the break, we had some action. Let's catch up. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Sally Fitzgibbons is back, isn't she? She's uh, surfing incredibly well, uh, coming off some good results uh, in Australian leg, and uh, she's looking like she is carrying a lot of energy, bringing it here into Brazil, a place that she loves. She's won this uh, event multiple times, and this is why. Utilizing this back end, you can see the energy that she carries. She is an absolute athlete, up against Tatiana Wesson-Webb, who is a fighter. Um, I've had to be really attainable to all the, all the information. It's been pretty crazy, but um, I think I'm catching on. Attainable, retainable, <laughs> and definitely holding on to that information. So congratulations on your heat win. We'll see you on through. Thanks. I went to Kuhuku High School. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Coco. <laughs> all right. That's right, Coco. Go Red Raiders, Coco High School, as we saw during that interview. Sally Fitzgibbons on her second right. She opened up with the left. That was a 5.17 that we caught on the replay pots. And then that right-hander, Sally, unloaded there, probably bettering that 5.17, going to put her out into a commanding lead to start off this heat number five. Yeah, absolutely right, uh, Kaipo. She's just on a roll. Um, you know, coming out of, a, as we said, a very strong leg. She saw Steph Gilmore move through. So wanting to keep in touch, you know, and that's what she's got to do. Beautiful turn right there from Sally and she's starting to feel it. You know, just back-to-back -back waves, applying the pressure, that first wave, just a 5.17, and she's gonna back it up with another solid wave. So two waves before uh, her opponents have uh, opened up, now we see Pauline Nadeau up and running. Pauline Nadeau, live action, utilizing the backhand on this left. A little soupy water, white water, there with a limited opportunity. We'll catch up with what the beginning of that wave was, but the strategy here, maybe getting a ski ride back it looks like conditions are starting to clean up a little bit this afternoon, Kipes. Uh, that wind slowly starting to try to go back offshore again. Late drop from Tatiana around the section. And now there, there's that big gaffing maneuver that you talk about. And uh, this last turn right here, this is where I reckon all the points are going to come from. Tight snap in the pocket, so good. Pivot of the body right there. Nice, strong on the back foot and uh, side saddles on the way back out. So interesting there for Tatiana. Uh, he's been here for about a week. He said there's been, uh, you know, when it gets a bit smaller, a little bit more in control, uh, a little bit more form. Here we go. Tachi, snapping. A little bit hung up there, but pulls through, looks for more, and she's just going to get that one turn, but it will give her the opportunity to move inside and get repositioned via our water patrol and jet ski assist. So a couple of things she's going to get. She's going to get another score. Let's take a look. Yeah, just one turn on this wave. Uh, kind of got stuck at the top right there. Didn't quite get the board around. She would have liked a little bit more pivot on that turn off the top, a little bit more power. But um, even on the back of the jet ski. That's right. So happy birthday. Yeah. Today, is, today. The today is, is the ninth. Today is the ninth. Happy birthday, Tatiana Weston Webb. Pauline Ado. 21 today. Up and riding. A couple of nice turns and getting through some difficult water right here before she kicks out. 23% of you put her on your team. And let's take another look at Pauline's wave. Yeah, this is better from, uh, from Pauline, but look at the bump and lump still. Um, with that rip going out, it's obviously creating a lot of uh, a lot of chop on the face of the wave. That was better right there from Pauline Nadeau. So starting to find her feet. She's gonna need something up into that six or seven point range as uh, she finishes off that wave. So currently in second spot, needs a 7.03 ironing out these clean faces. Here we go. Staying active in the lineup, Tatiana Weston Webb on another left. Nice carve to open up. This wave stands up to see what she's got for the finish. Right through there, the backwash gets the best of her after that opening turn. So she's going to go back to the drawing board. She's got to continue that kind of form if she wants to remain in the top five and keep herself in that world title race. Here we go, Tatiana Weston oh. Webb, and that was a beautiful arcing turn, engaging the rail all the way through there. She's going to stay busy here, hoping for this wave to give a little reform, a little bonus section on the inside. It does for a nice roundhouse cutback, and Tatiana 
looking for a 5.97 to take the lead from Sally Fitzgibbons. I'm going to dare say that was pretty close to that score, Pots. A 5-1-3 on her opening ro roll of the dice. And uh, this one here, look at that turn. Beautiful slashing maneuver. And then gets that little bonus cover up at the end. So nice surf in there from uh, Tatiana Western Webb. Read that wave really well. And uh, brings it all the way through. So stayed busy. She's caught more waves than the other two surfers. And uh, it is starting to pay off. Beautiful maneuver right there. Showing the whole bottom deck of that board. Just putting that rail in the water. Engaging those fins. And uh, showing us why she's one of the exciting girls to watch on tour. She's got Tim Carroll surfboards under her feet, and those blades look like they're working really well. And feeling the need, getting some urgency here, Sally Fitzgibbons winds up, carves off the top, looks for another section, places it, Ooh. but gets a little bit bounced from some of that backwash, some of that reverb, so putting Pauline Audo on your fantasy surfing team. You can play fantasy surfing team too. WorldSurfLeague.com. Check this out. Priority getting utilized by Pauline. Yeah, that was a uh, strategy right there. Obviously, uh, Pauline with priority. That meant Tatiana had to give way. Pauline had uh, unconditional right away. So a good move right there from Tatiana just to bail out. Had she crossed lines with Pauline, it would have been an interference call. And uh, at this stage of the heat, that was not what she was looking for. So a good move right there. Yeah. Explaining our priority situation, we enter every heat in what we call neutral priority with no surfers having priority other than their positioning in the lineup. But here we go with live action. Fitzgibbons. Difficult section. A lot of backwash, a lot of lump and bump on this. But she's working her way through here. Needs to close this out with a final maneuver, and she does so. Hangs on the number 5.78 to turn the heat and get a jump on Tatiana Weston Webb. On her way back out into the lineup, I think she's got time for one more roll of, uh, of the dice, trying to get another wave under her belt. Let's have a look here. There's uh, a little bit of lump and bump there. Didn't quite connect with that first turn. A little bit better on that second maneuver, and then this third turn sort of cut it short you know i think maybe she needed to bang off that white water and get a little bit more of a slingshot out so I'll, maybe i'm not seeing that 5.78 required wow. she now takes the lead tatiana weston webb drops on to second place looking for a 6.14 and here's sally surfing through here nice snap off the top let's see if she has more opportunity and none so 6.77 for that left well, I'm not seeing it. I mean, I'm looking at that first turn. It, it was sort of a mid-face sort of transition maneuver more than where Tatiana's was right in the pocket, real critical, jammed it all the way back around and then got that little cover-up. So there was a lot more going on in the first turn for Tatiana's wave. But uh, maybe the second turn better too. Let's have a look at the first maneuver here. She comes off the bottom. With that bounce, uh, kind of lost a little bit of speed. Second turn, a little bit better. And then the third turn, you can see she cut it short sort of carving more down it wasn't more of a jam off the top there so uh, maybe the first time today i disagree with the judges we're looking at what live action can you talk us through that 6.77 uh for size it's given sorry we are at live action we'll let you pay attention to paulina doe we'll get back to that just in a bit as pauline works her way down the line on this right and wow difficult wave to ride she punches out and Here's the comeback, perhaps a comeback for Tatiana Westerweb. He's going to have to close out this wave and pull that final maneuver. And the horn blows, and that is going to be the end. Tatiana Westerweb and Pauline Addo moving on to round number two. Sally Fitzgibbons leapfrogging into round number three.